Let's get started designing a welding fixture on the Build Pro table for a standard frame using square tubing. This is the third video in a three-part CAD video series. I'll start by going to the Build Pro website at buildprotables.com to get the CAD drawings of the Build Pro modular welding table, clamps, and components. I'm going to go to the Products tab, which will give me a selection page for every item in the Build Pro line. Let's start with the table drawing. I'm working with the 8 foot by 4 foot Build Pro Max table. This model features the continuous table surface without the 1 and 3 quarter inch table slots. If I were using the slotted Build Pro table, I would have selected the standard tables page. I'm going to download the CAD drawing for the Build Pro Max table. I'll open the step file, save it, and place the drawing in a new folder titled Standard Frame. You may have to save the drawings in a file format that is compatible with your drawing software. The majority of drawings in the Build Pro line are available in both STEP and IGES formats. I'll repeat this process placing all of the clamps and components I'll need for my fixture in my standard frame drawing folder. Now I'll start downloading the clamping elements. I'm going to use the five face heavy duty riser blocks to create the framework for my fixture. Within the specification table, I'll select the CAD drawing for model T50130, a riser block with a 12 inch height. So, here is my CAD drawing of the Build Pro Max 8 foot by 4 foot modular welding table and my 7 inch long by 2 foot high square tube frame. I'm going to elevate the entire frame using 2 inch stops to provide welding clearance at the joints. I'll place sets of two stacked 12 inch high riser blocks along one side and at one end of the frame to locate and clamp the square tubes. For the other side wall of my frame, I'll place the stacked riser blocks inside the frame so my clamps can be mounted in the same orientation for easier removal of my welded frame. I'm going to use different types of squares within the clamping squares product group for demonstration purposes. I'll use the malleable cast iron squares along this wall and the economy clamping squares at the end. I'll mount the right angle brackets on each square to locate, brace, and clamp the tubing. I'm going to use inserter clamps here on the table surface to clamp down the bottom tubes of my frame. The inserter clamps automatically lock into the 5 8 holes on the tabletop for a quick set hold down clamping. To clamp the vertical tubes and the top tubing of my frame, I'll place strong hand tools pliers against the right angle brackets. When I set up this fixture on my Build Pro tabletop, I'll preset the spindles on my strong hand tools pliers for the exact opening I'll need in each place on my fixture. That's going to make it very quick to place, lock, and release the large number of pliers I'll be using. Now that I've designed my standard frame fixture, it's going to allow my team to produce this high volume square frame rapidly and with greater accuracy for repeatability. Universal modular fixturing gives you complete versatility in fixturing. I can adapt the Build Pro table to each unique project, regardless of the size or shape of my weldment, and I know that I can fixture my weldments quickly and weld with precision. By using the Build Pro, I can set up dedicated, short run, or prototype fixtures, so I'm always ready to handle the next project. Thanks for watching. Be sure to watch the first two design videos in this three part series.